Thanks for being with us tonight. A new leader is about to take over a state department in turmoil. The job has been called one of the toughest in state government, and soon Jody Harpstead will be the commissioner of the Department of Human Services. John Croman takes a look at who she is and what needs fixing. The incoming commissioner of the Department of Human Services, Jody Harpstead. Jody Harpstead has spent the past eight years as the CEO of Lutheran Social Services, a charity with 2,300 employees. Before that, 20 years at Medtronic, co-heading the defibrillator and pacemaker units. I remain committed to a few of the priorities I had at LSS, like integrating community services and health care to produce fuller lives, better health, and lower cost in that order. She's taking the reins of an agency with a $19 billion budget and 6,700 employees, but she notes Lutheran Social Services provides a broad array of services across the state. And I've enjoyed traveling the whole state, meeting veterans in Luverne, youth in Duluth, farm families in Carlstad, and people with disabilities in Leroy and Adams. Harpstead replaces Commissioner Tony Laurie, who abruptly quit last month, days after two longtime deputy commissioners resigned. Governor Walls brought in Pam Wheelock as acting commissioner, and the two deputies then decided to stay. Now, tomorrow the action will switch from the people here at the Capitol to the people across the street. It's the Senate office building where Republicans will be holding a hearing tomorrow entitled, What Went Wrong at DHS? recounting some of the problems that have cropped up in that agency in the last few years. Those troubles range from fraud at some Somali daycare centers to an inspector general sidelined by an investigation of undisclosed issues to alleged overbilling by some tribal communities for a drug used to treat opioid addictions. I'm eager to hear the results of the Senate hearing tomorrow. In St. Paul, John Croman, CARE 11 News. The new commissioner starts her job on September 3rd, and acting commissioner Pam Wheelock will remain on board for a while to help with the transition.